Wake up. Wakey, wakey. Uh, wake up. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in the Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Ooh, We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Hey friends, welcome back to my channel My name is Selena, for those of you that are new For those that are returning, what's up, what's good, what's Popping before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on because you guys know I come on a video every single day. Why would y'all miss it? Okay, friends, it is November 17th, it's been literally 10 days since my surgery. It seems crazy, but because it kind of seems like I just had surgery yesterday, but as far as my healing goes, I'm feeling good. Okay, you guys know I had physical therapy yesterday, and you guys know this was my second time with physical therapy since after surgery and the first time you guys know was really rough just mentally emotionally like it was just a lot going on the first time but this time was actually pretty good I'm not gonna lie and then even this morning I feel like really good as far as like how my leg feels and stuff like that so we're good with that um it is friday i'm so happy because i'm tired of working i'm tired of working okay um so it's friday i have no plans honestly i wasn't gonna have any plans anyway well this weekend actually we do have plans i can't go out like that you guys know that like it's really tiring actually um but i do have plans to go um, my mom's dog has his first little puppy class so we'll be going to that tomorrow and i'll take you guys there as well and then that's pretty much it we have no other plans after that and then next week um next weekend i told you guys technically it's thanksgiving weekend but i'm getting my hair done next weekend so i'm excited about that um but yeah today my knee like you guys can see it don't mind my ashy feet <laughs> anyways my knee um is feeling pretty good i do have it in the brace right now but i actually just took it out well i had it out the brace and i was icing it um i'm probably gonna need some more ice here in a little bit um so i'm just gonna wait for my mom to come back from taking the dog outside and then she'll probably get me an ice pack i told you guys i do like the ice machine now because i know how to use it and things like that so we get in the hood but yeah i took um my anti-inflammation medication this morning and i'm feeling pretty good pretty great what what happened to my camera just now anyways yeah i'm feeling pretty good um i feel like that's helping with my swelling um a lot and yeah oh i try not to have my brace on all the time when i'm just laying here um i'm seeing like different like is it good is it bad is it good is it bad but i don't know and my doctor said i could have it off i actually do want to ask him um i might like send him a message or something to see what they say as far as keeping my brace on some people say some doctors say sleep with it on some doctors don't um i've from my knowledge, my doctor said I don't have to sleep with my brace on. So, um, I don't know though. Can't remember. <laughs> but I, I normally don't sleep with it on um, because I feel like it hurts. Like it, like my leg kind of swells up a little bit at night. I don't know. It's weird. But I normally have ice on it at night. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm about to get back to work. I might show you guys my mom's puppy because he normally likes to just hang out with me um but yeah i'll keep you guys updated hey hey friends so i'm done working it's 6 15 right now um my leg was hurting today but it's because i really didn't have it elevated i just had it like kind of down um i'm going to try to edit this video i told you guys like my my um what you call it what is this called computer was not working literally it was um 
what you call it it was freezing freezing up so i'm about to see if i can edit this real fast it's literally not long i literally have 10 more minutes to edit it just wasn't working um and then i'm gonna do my little leg exercises so i'll show you guys my leg exercises when we get to that or what i'm going to do because i want to work on straightening my leg or whatever um versus bending it i do really good with bending it but i know that straightening it is going to be harder so i'm about to finish editing see if i can get this edited or whatever and then um what you call it i'll see you guys in one second okay friends so hopefully you guys can see what i'm doing but i'm just taking my brace off right now um this is what my leg is looking like i did have this on a little too tight clearly i tend to do that um don't be like me be better because your leg needs circulation but i've been putting on my brace like a little too tight but it feels better when it's tight but it's not good for like your leg circulation so yeah um so what i'm going to do is start by massaging my leg first Just hold on one second okay friends so this is what i'm going to use this is the arnica gel i told you guys that i'd be using don't mind my ashy um knees but this is the arnica gel if it will focus who knows um, yeah, so I'm going to use this and my physical therapist, I think he'd just be using like regular lotion, but I'm going to like massage this part of my leg and then like my calf and stuff like that. But you guys see, I still have this bruise, but this Arnica gel really helps with like pain and, um, stiffness and swelling and bruises. So I can put it everywhere put it everywhere except for um what you call it hold on friends i don't know why this wasn't focusing but i can put it everywhere except for on the actual incision so i'm not gonna like get too much i'm gonna do my quad first let me show you guys so i put some on here and I can just like rub this. Like I said, you don't want it to get on the incision, but you want to rub like upwards, he said. And I mean, it's just gel. You just want something. I like the Arnica gel because it does have the, helps with swelling and bruising and stuff like that. But you can use like regular lotion. And you just want to like massage this part. Um, this can help wake up your quad too. But I'm pretty much just going to do what um, he does in physical therapy. Because this is going to help loosen up my muscles. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use both hands and do this. So one second. Okay, friends. So actually, my leg looks so swollen in here. And I always like, oh, my leg's not swollen. Yeah, it is for sure. So this is my calf and this is where the bruise is at that's the bad bruise so i'm just kind of going to massage this in and massage my calf but like going upwards this is going to help with swelling too to move the fluid and my leg might be a little bit more swollen than normal right now because i did not elevate it but i was icing it all day but I wasn't elevating it and the bruise part actually doesn't really hurt it looks worse than what it what it feels like like this you would think you know really hurts but not that bad so I'm just gonna do like small circles and I actually might get regular lotion too because this gel once rubbed in it it's done like it doesn't do anything the lotion at least i can keep on applying and i'm a little ashy like my skin is super dry because i wasn't able to put anything on it for a week so i might end up getting lotion but you can see it's like not anything <laughs> the gel is rubbed in so now it's like a little harder to 
massage. But yeah, I'm gonna get lotion probably and do this. So, and I did my quad. So I'm gonna do my shin and my calf now. Okay, friends. So I'm gonna use this this Jergens lotion. This is you can just use whatever lotion, but I just it's better if it's like kind of like slick. So. I'm going to go ahead and keep on massaging my calf. Probably honestly massage like my ankle too. Cause that like just for comfort. Cause that hurts. But you want to like loosen up all of these muscles in your leg. Cause they're really tight. And I even like to go like under my leg too. But like I said, you be careful with your incisions. You guys see my tape is kind of coming off, but I kind of have to like let it fall off because it's going to be like real sticky. I could probably like try to peel it off, but to. yeah, you're not supposed to. So you just got to let it fall off. So I'm going to massage the rest of my leg. Keep on massaging with this lotion. Like I said, you guys can use whatever lotion you guys have or gel. And I do like to use that Arnica gel because it helps with the bruising. So I'm going to finish up and then I'll show you guys some of like the little exercises that I'm going to do. Okay, friends. So I forgot. Normally when my physical therapist massages my leg, it's like kind of over something like this. So he didn't tell me to massage my leg. I just want to because it feels better. Like it feels good when he does like the little massage or whatever. And it kind of like warms up my leg and helps me. So... I did put my leg over here like this, bent a little bit, and then I'll massage like my quad and stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I don't have the little, like, um, I don't even know what it is, but it's like an oval that you just put your legs over like this. Um, but this will do. So this is how I'm gonna massage the, my leg the rest of the time. Friends, so I'm done massaging my leg. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pillow. I thought I have, I do have a bigger pillow that I like using. Oh, it's right here. Instead, because it's like firmer, um, you can get like, you can like roll up a um, towel if you want. But I'm going to put this like on my ankle and my leg right now. Earlier I was able to like lift my leg, not like this, but like this i was able to do that with this leg but um it comes and goes so right now i'm not able to do that so i just use my hand and you want to put your ankle um like have your ankle pretty much hanging off like that so this is going to kind of like kind of stretch your leg out because it allows your knee to drop pretty much and normally my physical therapist would like kind of like push down a little bit on my leg Honestly, I'm not going to do that because I'm not a professional and I don't want to hurt myself. So I'm just going to kind of like relax my leg and let it hang down with my um, ankle on the edge. And I actually feel this. You're going to feel it like all under here. Um, and I'm just going to do this for probably like a few minutes. And then like I kind of rest a little bit because it is stretching my leg. And then I'll go back and hold it for like 30 seconds and i'll probably do this like five or ten times friends so now i'm done doing that i'm gonna do this other exercise i literally don't think you guys are even gonna be able to see what i'm doing but my your toe has to be facing like your nose or whatever and then what i'm doing is kind of like squeezing my knee um squeezing down on this pillow and that's gonna help my quad um but you squeeze down on the pillow but like i said i don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see it like i just did it just now um so that's like the next exercise and then i am going to try to lift my leg in a little bit after i do a couple of these i'm also going to do like little um do i have my string i do so we can put this um, another exercise we do is we put this around our foot and then we kind of literally just want to pull the um, 
your foot towards your nose and that's going to stretch you're going to feel that as well um so that's what i'm gonna do but first before i do that i am going to do the little um toes to my nose and like press down on the pillow pretty much it's kind of weird explaining it because it's like hard to see so And then you guys, when I do this, I know you guys can't really see, but you guys can kind of see how like I'm pulling my leg up and I'm still stretching. Like I'm getting a stretch all through the back of my leg. And it's really important that you use your hands to do this. You want to use your hands. You don't want to really use your leg. You want to make sure that all of this is coming from your hands. Woo. And I'm going to be really tired after this. I get really tired, you guys. Throughout the day, regardless if I do physical therapy or not, I get tired. So, And then let me show you guys. This is how my leg is looking right now. Honestly, me just doing what I just did, it actually, like, I don't know if you guys can see how flat it gets now. So it does get, it's doing pretty good. I told you guys that um, getting my leg back straight is going to be the hardest thing um, because it was so used to being bent. Um, obviously bending it is going to be hard too, but getting it back straight, he said is gonna be harder. Um, so I do wanna do that every time. I'm going to try to do some, get my knee to bend just a little. I'm just gonna do like one exercise um to help get my knee bending and moving but right now i'm on track already for where i'm supposed to be they want it at 90 degrees by two weeks um after surgery so i'm already pretty much there so i'm gonna show you guys this other exercise one second okay so this one you like i said you always gonna want to use your hand and you're just going to bring your leg up like this until you can't anymore and you gotta hold it but you're using your hands you're not using your knee at all um and i can bend it quite a bit now i was just working on straightening it so it is gonna be a little you know not confused but it is going to be a little harder i'm down like on the couch and like sitting like normal or like how you sit on a toilet i can bend my knee on, wake up wakey wakey Urgh, wake up my friends so you can actually kind of like really see now that my leg isn't really straight but i'm i'm telling you it's getting there but you see how like straight this leg is it's still i mean this leg granted is swollen too but if you remember like my feet are almost the same length back again because the reason why they weren't originally is because this leg was so bent like it was like this and i'm like is it straight but no it is getting a lot better so i'm proud of that um but let's see if i can lift my leg um it's a lot easier if i bend this knee and try to lift but see, okay, hold on. The thing is, is you want to try to lift it without like bending. Like it's one thing to bend this and then like lift it like that. Because now I'm using different muscles. But you want to like, we're trying to do this with it straight out. So I find it easier if I do do something with the left leg and then have the right leg follow. Wake up. <laughs> it's not waking up, Mom. Help me. Wake up. Wake up. So, like, it's crazy because, like, I want to move it, but I, I literally can't. There we go. A little bit. But you see that it's, like, bent still. So, I am still using the muscle, but not as much as I should be. Not like this. 
but you see after a while I can do it <coughs> so we're doing pretty good I have to say <coughs> um, but like I said I find it better if I do do something with my left leg or if I have this up but and then I feel like I'm using like different muscles when I have it up but yay I'm so proud of myself we're gonna get this and it just comes with like you know practice like you gotta get back in the motion okay you gotta keep on doing this every day I try to do this in the morning and at night normally I can't do it in the morning all that well because I like wake up right when I'm supposed to go to work but normally I do something while I'm at work so yes but I'm so proud of myself. Um, so now we're gonna have to ice this because my leg is tired. I'm tired, Selena, I'm tired. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and ice my leg. That's pretty much all I do. And honestly, I've been doing the physical therapy for about 45 minutes now. It's been a while that I've been doing this. So that's pretty much what, I mean, how long I would do it anyway if I went to actual physical therapy. So now I'm gonna see if my mom can get me some ice. Um, it's not going to be the ice machine. It's going to be one of the ice packs and I'll just put that around my leg and then we'll be done. So that's pretty much what I do. Like I said, definitely at night, but not so much in the morning because yeah, um, but I'm going to ice my leg and then probably just chill out and then we'll get something to eat in a little bit. Thank you. This is the ice pack that I use, you guys. I'll link it down below. I got it from Amazon, and I just put it in a um, pillow case. And then I'm going to put my leg on top of here and put the ice on. And you ice for like 20 minutes. Nothing too serious. This is what my leg is looking like. So I'll keep this on for 20 minutes and I like this, um, I do like this ice pack because it has some weight to it. So anything that has like provides like any type of compression with ice is like a plus. So in the beginning it might hurt you a little bit just because you're late, you just had surgery. But like right now, I mean I did just have surgery 10 days ago um, and sometimes it does hurt if I have it like wrong. Um, on my leg but right now it doesn't hurt it just it feels good because it's cold and it's providing some type of like compression so I'm gonna do this for 20 minutes and then my little physical therapy at home session will be complete see you guys in a little bit hey friends it's literally like four in the morning um I was not feeling good I don't know why um and I told you guys that sometimes when I well most of the time when I do my physical therapy and just like recently after surgery I get super super tired so uh, yeah I just like ended up going to sleep because like I said I wasn't feeling good I've been drinking water and everything I'm trying to find my other water bottle um but I don't know what's wrong like I started getting like kind of nauseous and like my head started hurting and it was crazy but I feel a lot better now um I feel like I always don't feel good after I do like a lot with my knee. Um, so I feel like I have something to do with that. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm about to just ice my leg. Yeah, my mom gave me some ice. I was literally knocked out. I don't even, <laughs> I was knocked out, but this should be fine. I might get up and try to get um, my ice pack might be able to carry it I don't know um, if I just throw it over here because um, I would rather use that right now I normally use the ice machine um, like in the morning once I don't have the ice pack anymore I guess it is the morning now I technically would have woke up and used it now anyway that's beyond me at this point um, like I said my knee was hurting it is kind of hurting right now I didn't take any pain medication I just took the anti-inflammatory medication and then I went to sleep but see that normally you're supposed to eat that eat that take that with food i took it with food so i don't know and it normally it doesn't make me sick um i was actually kind of feeling bad before 
like I said before, um, I took that medicine. I just started feeling bad after I uh, did my exercises. So I don't know. But I'm going to ice my leg. And like I said, it's four in the morning. So I'm going to ice my leg and then um, probably just go back to sleep if I can. Um, we'll see. But when I wake up tomorrow, babies has, my mom's dog has um, his first little class. So we're going to take him there. Um, but I'll take you guys, that will be like my second outing that I got to go on, get to go on or whatever. So we'll see how I feel. You guys know whenever I actually go out, I'll be exhausted. So wish me luck, but I'm going to take you guys. So I'm going to call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vloggy vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on because you guys know I upload a video every single day. But we're trying to miss it. Until next time, bye friends.